All right, drone video of uh, a huge tract out at the uh, uh, the Devil's Backbone Project in Howell County, Missouri. We are looking east over the property. The white truck is parked on the easement road. Uh, so this is uh, not only one of the largest tracks um, within the, the Howell County Project or Devil's Backbone Project, which whichever one you want to call it, uh, but the entire east side borders the Mark Twain National Forest. So we're slowly going easterly. This is also one of the few tracks out there that uh, not only has a private driveway, not only has a cleared site, but it has a, uh, uh, a trail that goes easterly all the way to the National Forest. So we're basically heading um, more or less due east now. On the lower left, you can see the cleared site. Hopefully we'll get a better look at that uh, later on in the video. But I think right now we're doing just a kind of a basic straight fly over here. And I'm sure we'll head toward the National Forest. The, the few trees that you can see kind of lying on the ground, uh, those aren't from any, any recent logging. That's from the site being cleared about a year ago. Um, the, the cleared site that's tucked within the property. So looking east directly over the property, nice mixture of timber on this tract. Probably mostly hardwood, um, red oak, white oak, hickory, all that good stuff, but, but you may have some cedar and some pine as well. From where we were on the west side, from where the, the cleared site was, that was the highest point, and it slopes down gradually as you head easterly. Uh, from what we can tell on the topo in this video, there's really nothing steep. It's, it's just a, a gradual slope down to, toward the east side where it will be the lowest um, and also where it borders the National Forest. And I think we're getting close to the east side here. So at some point we'll transition into National Forest. Uh, actually just about now, now we're looking um, straight at the National Forest. The east side of the property is pretty easy to tell not only from the air, but from the ground, because it's got uh, uh, kind of a, a, I guess you'd call it a dozer lane from from when the original exterior boundaries of the property uh, were bulldozed. There you go. So as we look northerly, you can see that cleared lane right in the middle of the, of the screen. And that's gonna be on the east side of the property. That particular little cleared lane, that's not an easement or anything. That was just uh, a dozer lane or, or perhaps the, the owner decades ago was going to fence, you know, the boundaries of the entire uh, property before it was um, uh, developed or whatnot. So we, we were just over the National Forest, now we're headed back to the west toward where we started. Uh, having the, the National Forest adjacent to your property is, is fantastic. If you're a hunter, if you're just uh, you know into recreation and hiking, um, the Mark Twain National Forest is, is public land, it's open for public use, so generally hunting uh, hiking, uh, campsites, all that stuff um, you can do within the National Forest. So in this case, you can have your own private acreage over nine and a half acres, by the way. I don't know if we said that at the beginning, but it is surveyed. It's 9.59 acres. You can have your private acreage um, where you can camp or hunt or potentially build a home or cabin, uh, but you can venture into that National Forest and you have a huge amount of public land as well. Not only is it directly east of the property, it joins the property on the east side, uh, but it's just a few seconds away um, from the west side of the property as well. That's the cleared site. I was hoping we'd get a, a little better look at that. That is a big bonus to have on the property. Uh, and also, we were flying pretty high, so we did not see the trail that goes back east to the National Forest, but this track does have one. Um, so you've got the your own private driveway that comes off of the... Uh, easement road. Looks like it leads back in 150, 200 feet maybe. Uh, and then you have the, the, the cleared area there. And from there, there is that trail that we mentioned that goes back all the way to the National Forest. So the trail back to the National Forest from the cleared site on the property um, is going to be a four-wheeler trail or a side-by-side -side trail. I'm not sure if that would be wide enough uh, for a full-size truck or SUV. Um, but you you could expand that if, if you wanted to. But most people who come out here to to uh, hunt or camp or, or goof around <laughs> probably uh, are going to have a four-wheeler or a side-by-side, -side and um, that works as well. Stunning property. I mean, not only is it one of the biggest, but it does have the National Forest frontage. It does have the driveway site, cleared site, and uh, the trail all the way back to the National Forest. 
So nice, nice dimensions on this track. It's about 250 feet wide north to south. Uh, so extremely private that way. And then going back to the National Forest, it goes back to the east uh, a little over a quarter mile. So a lot of usable space on this one. The deer and turkey hunting, phenomenal. Complete owner financing on, on anything we sell through our website. Um, but yeah, that's track 21 at the Devil's Backbone Project or the Howell County Project uh, in Howell County, Missouri. Mm -hmm.